Bear this essay, this is High Priestess Yashodhara Singh. Welcome number three for those of you born on the 3rd, the 12th, the 21st, the 30th. Please add up your date of birth. And if it adds to a number three, you're in the right place because this video covers the predictions for the month of March 2024. The central theme of the month is described with the help of three cards from three different decks. You have the Akashic deck, the Chakra deck, and we've also taken the Angel deck this time as an oracular card. The four weeks in a month are described with the help of four cards from four different decks. You have the Gilded deck, the Beautiful Dragons, the Golden Wheel and the Vika deck. Alright, an interesting spread as usual. Number three, what you've pulled out as a central theme is Five of Keys that says Wish is Fulfilled, the Card of Faith and the Nine of Earth or the Nine of Coins or the Nine of Pentacles. Alright. So um, I'm going to take this first, which is fulfilled. Now, a lot of people think that this card means that by twiddling your thumbs and doing nothing and sitting at home, all your wishes will get granted. What this actually means is two things. The first thing it means is that many of your, the, the, the little small things that you've wanted will be brought in front of you, whether you choose to Take that, accept it or reject it. That choice will now be yours in this new month, right? This card also means that opportunities will be created for you in such a manner that you will be able to work towards fulfillment of these wishes that you have, wish or wishes that you have, okay? The card of faith. I come across a lot of these two of, of uh, words like faith and belief when it comes to spell casting, the kind of work that we do. Faith and belief have nothing to do with spell casting. Um, but faith is very important. Belief is very important and they are very, very strong words. In fact, standalone, they are magical words. When it comes to your own self, when it comes to the work that you put in, the hard effort that you put in, right when it comes to the steps that you take and of course when it comes to the higher power that we all believe in we all have our different faiths and beliefs and that is what you will be tested with in the new month in the coming month what is your level of faith how much do you believe in yourself and in your makeup and the last central theme card nine of coins tells me that you are going to be spending some quiet time alone if you're self-employed or if you're planning to then it's going to be definitely successful and you're going to enjoy the little luxuries in life um, you are going to attract um, or be at or you'll find yourself getting attracted to uh, expensive things things that make you feel rich and opulent a fancy watch a fancy bubble or trinket like what i'm wearing um, you know, a fancy car, fancy mobile, fancy clothes, uh, satin, silk, etc. Because you, you have a lot of rich energy, money, magne magnetic energy. And what happens is not only do you get attracted to things like this, but you expensive things, what you call luxurious things. But another thing that happens is people get attracted to you and they feel quite lucky being around you in terms of money and finance. As a result of which by the end of the day, you might feel drained out. So when it comes to thinking about your own self, you might not have the kind of energy that you wish for. So be careful, okay? Be careful not to expend too much of energy. That's what I'm saying. The first week of uh, March 2024, number three, you pulled out the Tower card, the card of the Shaman, the Seven of Swords, and the World card. You have the blessings of the angels. That's the first thing I'm going to say because you've pulled out a lot of major arcana cards all right the tower card is here to say that uh, something that you were expecting to end has now come to an end quicker the speed has increased initially after the initial my ground no, the ground beneath my feet just moved we need to quickly stand up on the ground because you need to be strong not just for yourself but for the people who find you dependable and who depend on you for various reasons this is also an opportunity for you to test your worth, to test your metal, to see what you're made of, right? Because when you come out of fire, you will become stronger. You will shine like a diamond. 
The Shaman card is a beautiful card of magic, which says there is definitely some element of magic uh, that either you're practicing or it's been practiced on your behalf. This is usually not a card to fear, but there is definitely magic happening in and around you. And why it has come is because that's how I guess your dreams get realized. Seven of Swords, this is a card that says either you're deceiving someone or somebody's deceiving you. This card also means that you need to change your strategy because what you've been trying so far has not given you the kind of result that you wanted. So now you need to change your strategy so that the result can automatically also match to your expectations. The World card tells me that uh, either you are ending a cycle or you're beginning one in your life because life is made of cycles. You end one, you begin one. It's like a loop, like the Ouroboros. The world card also means that there is some kind of a karmic um, baggage that you need to get rid of. Something that could be either done by you yourself or your relatives or ancestors in this life or the previous ones. Please remind yourself, karmic baggage release is extremely important because if you don't release it, the little nagging obstacles, thorns, ball and chain around your ankle it will be a recurring issue like a like an itch you cannot reach right so get rid of it so that you can get the job done second week of march 2024 the beautiful ace of cups is here the moon card is here the seven of coins or the seven of pentacles here and the ace of cups so you have pulled out the ace of cups twice we use this a lot in spell casting but oh my god number three you're so lucky you seem to be surrounded by people who love you unconditionally now, the reason why it's coming twice is there could be two possibilities here. Either you're taking it for granted that, you know, they have to love me. They don't have a choice. I am their child or I am their sibling or I am their spouse or, you know, I do so much for them, so on and so forth. So you are taking it for granted. Another possibility is that you're not making them feel that you are grateful for having them in your life. Either or fix it before you lose it. That's all I'm going to say. Because it's a beautiful, beautiful feeling to be loved. The moon card tells me that you could be a Piscean or dealing with one. This card also means that you don't have complete information about something because of which you're not being able to come to a concrete, confident decision. Find out what it is that's being hidden from you. Gain the information and then go ahead and take that decision. Seven of Coins tells me that you are uh, think you are thinking of increasing your savings either for the simple reason of increasing your savings or it could also be that you're saving up for something either which ways you are going to be thinking about increasing your investments you know saving some more money um, putting back the money that you seem to have pulled out of your savings and it's a good thing this is a good card the third week of uh, March 2024 number three you've pulled out the karma card the two of wheels or the two of coins the tower card has come again and the lovers card so like i said this is a pure karma card there's definitely some karmic baggage that has to be released uh, you need to get in touch with us for a spell or if there's somewhere where you feel you trust that karmic baggage will be released please go ahead and do it but have it done now the second time it's coming okay and karmic baggage by the way is not just because a lot of you say that um, you know, I'm nice to everyone, how come, um, it's not, so if you're not nice to someone, that's not the only, that's, it's actually not the reason why you gain bad karma. There are other reasons also that many of you don't know of. I've already mentioned in the previous videos and I will take five seconds to tell you now. If you're not taking care of yourself and if you're putting other people before yourself, that is bad karma. Think about that revolutionary isn't it two of wheels two of coins tells me you will be making money from multiple ventures if you're if you're uh, self-employed and if you're an investor you'll make money if you have uh, a job and you are doing something else on the side and say you're a painter or an artist and you sell some of your paintings you'll make money not just through your salary not from your job but also through selling your paintings. so you will be able to profit from every aspect of finance in your life having said that please take care of your health eat on time rest on time and match this energy 
The Tava card, we've already had this discussion before it's coming for the second time, which means during this month, something is definitely coming to an end quicker than what you expected. Be prepared, get up on your feet and get a move on, okay? The Lovers card tells me that you could be a Gemini or dealing with one. This card also means that you need to love yourself a little bit more. You seem to be neglecting yourself of late. You seem to be not confident enough in your own decisions. You seem to be not uh, positive enough in your own self-talk. And that is why many of the obstacles that you're coming across at the moment are happening because of how you see yourself. Okay, the last week of uh, March 2024, number three, you've pulled out the Devil card, the Knight of Swords, the Sun card, and the Seven of Cups. I swear you guys pull out a rainbow of cards. So the De devil card tells me that you could be a Capri or dealing with one. This card also means that you need to de-addict yourself from some of the habits that seem to be a ball and chain around your ankle by now. This could be overthinking, working too hard and not taking care of yourself. Or um, it could be something like smoking, drinking alcohol, drugs. Or it could be, you know, um, pessimism. Um, negativity narcissism low vibes but there's definitely something that is that has become okay so how do you get to know that it's something that's not working out for you because it doesn't make you feel good and even if it makes you feel good it's temporary and not permanent by the end of that experience you don't feel good and that's a low vibe and that's the devil card for you so de-addict yourself from it you know best what it is the Knight of Swords is a beautiful command from the universe that says in a situation where you're wondering should you change track or should you continue in that direction, you're being asked to charge ahead with no fear. Be fearless, the universe has got your back. Keep moving in the steady pace that you've been asked to move. And of course, the Sun card had to come after that, isn't it? The Sun card is here to say that uh, the outcome of the situation that you are in will be positive and in, in your favor in a, in a, in a question that you have in your mind of should no is is there going to be a yes or a no to this answer the answer is definitely a yes and a sunny bright beautiful yellow white yes this card also means that if you're trying for a baby then now is the right time seven of cups is the last card for march 2024 which says something is coming towards you you need to do two things keep your perception focused on expressing gratitude and telling yourself over and over again that this thing that is coming towards me is one of the best things and the one that is much required for me to become a better version of myself. And I promise you that's exactly what's going to happen. Don't overthink it. All right, number three, I will see you in the month of April. Until then, take care of yourselves. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video because this is like, a, like I said, a rainbow draw of cards. I love, light and knowledge to you all. Beatus Essay and Om Sarve Bhavantu Sukhina.